So we haven't had an update for a while, but uh, we've now got the new circuit boards mounted. Uh, I'm going to get my router out and, and cut some grooves in this frame so that we can uh, have some nice cable management happening. Where we are at at the moment is that I have the first manual all wired up. Uh, I've ran a wire from each of the key contacts um, and these are the wires here. These are eight core wires so each uh, every lot of eight notes um, goes with one of these cables and I'm going to terminate these on one of those boards there. So each of these wires are going to run uh, around the back of the organ up through a slot that I'll carve into this frame uh, along here and into one of these input boards. Another day gone, another whole lot of cabling done. We uh, now have both manuals uh, completely wired up using this big six and eight core wire that we've got here. Uh, the cables run from the back of the manuals around there. Um, I'm going to enlarge, I've, I've, I've cut a little hole in here uh, for the cables, but as you can see, they're, they're far too thick for that hole and, and they're a little bit thick for this hole as well. Um, what I'm going to do is insert some metal bars across here um, just uh, to support the cables so they're not flipping about in the breeze here, even though they are very substantial cables, so they don't, they're don't they not going to move too much. But uh, yeah, so that's what it looks like at this uh, stage. Um, it'll hopefully look a lot prettier. Uh, these connectors here are the board to board interconnects um, and we've got little two pin ones here which are the common uh, the common rail for each manual. So we've got the lower manual, the upper manual, we've got the pedals and this input board here is going to be uh, for the stop tabs. Um, but we've also got these little buttons, uh, thumb pistons as well. So um, a little bit uh, more work still to do. But I am thoroughly sick of these crimps, these connectors, stupid wire splitters, uh, wire strippers, this blimmin' crimping tool. Uh, I've had a guts full of it all for tonight, so um, not a bad effort, I think. But, I mean, that is pretty much the guts of this new organ. Four, uh, four input boards and a controller board. Naturally, there's going to be a, a full-blown PC in here as well, just to handle the uh, sound sampling. But that's all the input stuff. Um, and, and, and that controller board just sends MIDI signals based on what the input's doing. So that's what the new uh, organ brain is going to be based out of. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll keep you updated as uh, we progress. And a little bit more progress has been made. Um, we have, we've got the back of the manuals here. We've got uh, the top manual here. Um, we've got the uh, wiring loom that I've created for that. The lower manual, you can see the wiring for that. And they sort of both snake out there. Um, still got to clean it up a lot more. It's a bit... Uh, sort of shaking around in the breeze but it's an example of where we are at now. Uh, up here we have the stop tabs, the back of the stop tabs and we've got the signal wiring which is the purple one in this case running along over there. Uh, down here we have the wiring loom for the pedals, that's this thing here um, and we're extending them so we're soldering them onto these red wires here and these wires at the moment are just sitting in place there because we've got Another bunch here to put on. So hopefully by the end of tonight, all of these will be soldered in place uh, and the ends crimped. I've crimped the ends onto uh, these first two bunches here, but we need to finish that off. Uh, I've removed the three big amplifiers. Uh, they are now lying there and they're going to get thrown out. What I'm going to uh, show in this video is a bit of the process uh, that demonstrates how the wiring is all organized. So what I've got is these four brown wires here. These four brown wires are the signal end of these four buttons here. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is putting these, cutting them all to length, putting crimps on them so that they fit nicely in one of these connectors. So the first step to doing this is to ensure that they're all about the same length. So I'm going to get something like this cable stripper. Again, using the cable stripper, we are going to, or the wire stripper rather, we're going to expose a bit of the wire. So now we need to uh, put some ends on the wires, put some crimps on. So I've got this uh, line of crimps here. I'm going to snap one off and load it into this old crimping tool. Like that. 
insert the wire into the end and squeeze the crimp closed. Just like that. And so we've got one wire now ready to go. Four done. So now we've got crimps on all of uh, these four wires. So I'm going to get another one of these crimp housings. Uh, but before I insert these wires into it, I need to make sure that I've got them in the right order. So the way that I'm going to find out which uh, of these four brown wires corresponds to each of these buttons is to use the continuity buzzer feature on this uh, digital multimeter. What that means is that when the probes touch, uh, the multimeter is going to beep like that, which is a useful a useful way of finding things out. So I've got uh, the probe connected to an alligator clip and the alligator clip connected to the common rail. So that means that one side of the circuit is common across all of these buttons. And then with the other end of the probe, I'm going to touch one of these connections to the probe like that and then just press the buttons to see which one buzzes. So this wire corresponds to the second button. button. Buzzin. What's a buzzin? So I'm going to take this crimp here and insert it into the second position. Just like that. And now I rinse and repeat. So there we have these four wires inserted into uh, this connector. And that's pretty much the process that I've followed through uh, for about... 25 or so of these connectors so far. It's a monotonous boring job um, But it's the process that one has to follow if you want your wiring to look Well, if you want to do the right if you don't want to do this job properly So now we are all wired up and ready to give it a test run. It's not the prettiest thing in the world uh, But what we can see here is that the bulk of the cabling is done So we've got the the upper manual uh, is wired to this uh, input board, the lower manual is wired to that input board. Um, this imp these uh, wires here are the pedals, then we have uh, the stop tab, uh, the thumb piston, sorry, there, and this last one out on its very own is the general cancel thumb piston. These purple wires here are for all of the stop tabs. I'm now almost unbelievably at the point where I can make some sounds out of this. Uh, I've got the laptop with all the software up and running there. I've spent some time to program the uh, stop tabs. So these refer to instruments on the laptop. You can see some movements on the screen when I adjust those stop tabs, which is pretty cool. Um, but the next step for me is going to be getting a uh, decent amplifier because the sound coming out of the laptop is pretty awful and it's not very loud. This is, uh, this is everything down on the grate. And you can barely hear it. Um, but I have got a cable which will enable me to take the headphone output from the laptop and pump it straight into my phone recording it. So you guys can hear uh, a little bit of what this organ sounds like. So I'll do that now. go um, that's uh, where we're at at the moment so the organ is, is pretty much functional um, all the stop tabs uh, sorry all of the thumb pistons are wired up but I haven't got uh, the software doing anything with them yet I still need to fix the pedals up um, I need to uh, put a, a, a potentiometer in so that the um, swell pedal does something we can get that all working as well um, so I'm pretty happy with where we are. I've now got a functioning organ. Um, I do need an external amplifier so that I can uh, actually play it uh, and have some proper sounds instead of using either headphones or the tinny speakers in my laptop. Um, there's not a lot of bass coming out of it, so I'm going to have to figure out 
uh, what's causing that. But uh, on the whole, this is just so much better than, than the original sort of Casio 70s keyboard sounds that this organ was making before we gutted it. So a big, huge thanks to uh, my friend who has designed and built all the circuit boards. I mean, that's talent that I'll never have. Um, and I am eternally in your debt for that. Um, yeah, look, guys, this is this is just brilliant as far as I'm concerned. Um, thanks very much for watching this video. And as always, uh, feel free to ask questions about this creation. I'd be more than happy to receive your feedback. Thanks very much.